What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test or a test for any other virus, I hope you have tested negative. And if you did test positive for any of the viruses, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues and no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Friday edition of the Virus Update for Friday, May 23rd, 2025. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. There's a lot of viruses out there, and we're about to have a summer wave of COVID here in the United States. You need to be informed with what's going on. That's what I do here on my channel each and every day. Want to stay informed? Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Hey, help me reach my goal of over 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Alrighty, we do have several things to talk about today. In fact, I have so many items in the news portion of this update, I actually stopped doing research. Well, I stopped for another reason as well. It's a holiday weekend, so... You know, uh, news and whatnot may be sparse, at least in the United States, come this weekend. But who knows? We saw Easter weekend ended up being busier than expected. So who knows? You may see me come in with a lot of news over the weekend. But nonetheless, we have a lot of things to get through today. Starting off with this. U.S. XF deaths. Excess deaths continue to rise even after COVID-19 pandemic study finds. All right. We're going to stop there and examine this first part. They say after the COVID-19 pandemic. I got news for you. Maybe you're new to my channel. COVID did not go away. COVID's not going away anytime soon. They may not call it a pandemic anymore, but I got news. Uh, see this little paper right here? It says COVID variant NB.1.8.1. It's the newest and latest variant of COVID. And it's going to be our enemy this summer here in the United States. It's the enemy in many other countries right now. It's not going to be our friend either. It's going to cause a wave. COVID is still here. Cases are going to rise this summer. So we're not really after the pandemic. Some may say it's endemic or some may say it's epidemic status, whatever. The point is COVID is still here with us. But get this, there were over 1.5 million missing Americans in 2022 and 2023. Deaths that would have been Averted if U.S. mortality rates match those of peer countries. Excess U.S. deaths have been increasing for decades. It's true. Before the COVID pandemic started in 2020, although some may say it actually started in late 2019, yes, the first few cases probably did occur here in the United States in late 2019, but excess deaths have been a problem here in a long, for a long time in the United States. Uh, there are many different things causing Far too many deaths in the United States compared to some other countries. Would you believe there's countries that maybe are not as well as the United States that actually do better than the United States when it comes to just people dying? It's it's true. And other way around, countries equally as wealthy or in the similar category as the United States that are better with health care. We really need to do better with health care here in the United States. Uh, in 2022 and 2023, more than 1.5 million deaths would have been averted if the United States had mortality rates similar to other high-income countries, which is basically what I was trying to say. Uh, this new study is led by Boston University School of Public Health. This and everything else, in terms of the news category today, will be in a thread later tonight on my website. There is yesterday's thread there as well. Post, I should say, because it's actually not going to be multiple posts. It'll just be a post. And my site is datareport.info. I'll show you that in a little bit. Whooping cough cases rise in Mississippi. Where are most cases reported? And anyhow, we don't need to uh, see that part. We just need to see that, hey, whooping cough cases are rising there. And the rise is already surpassing the total number from all of last year. The State Department of Health said 60 whooping cough cases have been reported between January 1st and Tuesday, May 20th. This is a uh, very important to see because this is starting to happen in a lot of states. We're seeing more and more states come out with reports saying, hey, our whooping cough cases are higher than they were last year. And here's the problem I have with that. Last year, maybe not this early in the year, but last year, in the second half of the year, we were seeing states say, hey, our cases are higher than they were in 2023. Get the theme? Things are going higher and higher each year. I got a really bad feeling when it comes to flu. We're going to be doing that as well uh, 
come the fall. We're going to probably even go higher than what we just saw this past winter, which was really bad. There's a good chance of it. I really hope I'm wrong, but uh, there's a chance I'm not. All right, speaking of flu, we need to talk about H5N1. The USDA confirmed two more H5N1 bird flu infected dairy herds in Idaho. This is bringing the state's total to 107. Uh, Idaho's been getting hit really hard lately. The national total is 1,072 in 17 states, and I don't know. Idaho, look at this here. They're the second worst state on this chart. California is at 766. Then comes 107 in Idaho. Idaho's not one of the biggest states, but uh, this is not a good thing to see. All right, U.S. reports cases of new COVID variant. You know, the one I mentioned at the start of this video. Uh, NB 1.8.1, behind surge in China. Yes, it is being found here. Now, we did not get a CDC Nowcast update today. Maybe it's going to come in late, and if it does, I'll have it for you over the weekend. But uh, we got this. This is kind of a surprise, because, uh, you know, we're in under a new presidential administration, so things are limited, but we got this. The CDC's airport screening, yeah, they're still doing that, has detected the new CD the new COVID-19 variant, NB.1.8.1, tied to the surge in China, and maybe some of the other countries in Asia that are reporting a surge. In travelers arriving in California, Washington, Virginia, and New York City area. So we're going to have to watch this. And if you saw yesterday's video, uh, you saw I posted or showed you a forecast from J.P. Wyland. And yes, his model shows just about a week or two after Memorial Day weekend, up we go. And... Well, this could be one of the reasons why. If you didn't see yesterday's video, go watch. It shows his forecast, and if you don't want to see that, just go on X. I did reshare it, his uh, X post. So, yeah, this is something we really need to keep an eye on. All right, let's go international for a moment. Let's go over to Australia, shall we? Western Australia. Weekly COVID update ending on uh, May 18th, 2025, and... Get this, this is not good news whatsoever. The positivity rate, 5.9%, up by 0.1%. All right, that's not big, Mr. Data Report. That's not bad. Oh, yeah? PCR cases, 416, up by 135% in one week. Yeah, that's pretty bad. That's a lot worse than that 0.1% positivity rate increase. Hospitalized, average per day, 38. That's up by 22.5%. ICU... Uh, increased to just one. So that's not terrible. They don't have a lot of people in the ICU, but again, their cases, 135% increase. And if they do that again next week, uh, you know, the doubling, how this works with COVID, it's not a good thing whatsoever. Dennis, the COVID info guy, thank you so much for adding this. All right, Spain. Now, I can't uh, tell you much here because, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. Uh, but uh, what you need to know is the COVID positivity rate in Spain is going up at this time. And I can show you the chart here, this black line that is 2024 into 2025. So that would be current. Uh, you can see here, yeah, it's starting to go up once again. And you can see in past times, it did continue to go up. Last year at this time, it continued to rise from this point. All right. I wanted to share this with you from just a naysayer over on X. I thought this was very interesting. Hey, you should follow this account. This is actually a really good account. They always uh, post very truthful and good stuff. And they put, why are so many people sick again? Take a look at this, this little clip here. And I don't think there's any audio with this, so we don't even have to bother with that. But yeah, they typed this in as a search on X, and I'm just going to fast forward this. Look how many results they found. Sick again. They put in sick again. Yeah. And look at them. They're all recent, just from yesterday. That many people are searching sick again. That's really uh, concerning that so many people just continuously get sick again and again and again. And the fact that they're putting sick again in May, all these different results. Yeah, this is not the time of year people usually get sick. Okay, allergies. Yeah, allergies are a thing. And I think a lot of people can raise their hand and say, since the start of the COVID pandemic, man, my allergies are worse than they used to be. Well, maybe you have long COVID. Yet, you know, just speculating here, but a lot of people putting sick again. Hey, please go follow just the naysayer. They post fantastic stuff. And uh, moving on to this now. 
Mexico, measles outbreak. Yes, we do have several measles updates today. Uh, Mexico, measles outbreak. Four dead now in Mexico. Yeah, that's not a good thing. No, no. And they've also had more than 1,000 cases of measles in Mexico this year. Yeah, not good. In Denver, in Colorado, officials warn of possible measles exposure at Denver International Airport and a nearby hotel. Yes, if you are in this area on May 13th, uh, you may want to monitor and make sure you don't have symptoms because you may have been exposed to measles. Oh, that's not a good thing. Uh, if you want to read the full exposures, again, I'm going to have a thread. I keep saying thread. I'm going to have a post on my site later on where you can read all this stuff. We don't read full stories during the virus update because if we did, our videos would be 45 minutes to an hour on some days where there's just, oh, so many stories. And in Alaska, we have a problem. Anchorage, Alaska resident has tested positive for measles as health officials warn of border exposure. And you know what? They're not far from Canada. It's their neighbor. Uh, Canada is just getting hit really hard. Harder than the United States. Would you believe that? Yeah, we're missing cases in the United States. But Canada is getting hit really hard with measles. And this is a juvenile in Anchorage that has tested positive. So if you're in that area, I don't know. Do I have anyone from Alaska? who watches the, my videos, follows the channel, let me know if you're from Alaska down below. I want to know. Do I have anyone up there? Uh, moving on to this now. Uh, Texas. Yeah, we're going in the wrong direction in Texas once again. Remember last Friday, what was it? One or two measles cases. Then it was four. Today they added six. So, mm, I mean, it's not a big increase, but starting to go back up again. 728 cases total since late January. Increase of six since May 20th. Less than or fewer than a 10 of the confirmed cases are actively infectious, although that may change if this number keeps going up to the number of people who are uh, testing positive in each report. Uh, let's see some of the counties here. Dawson, 26 cases. Ector, 11 cases. Gaines, still leading the way at 408. Lamar, 20. Lubbock, 53 cases. Terry County, now at 60 cases. 691 of the cases are unknown or unvaccinated. One dose of vaccine, 18. Two doses is at 19 at this time. So, yeah, uh, the majority of the cases are unvaccinated, and I don't think we're done in Texas. I think we're going to see a resurgence. I mean, this weekend coming up is a perfect recipe for these viruses to spread Memorial Day weekend. I should just show you when we get to the Pennsylvania, the, the number of people that are traveling is just unbelievable How it, for Memorial Day week. I think we're hitting records. Uh, taking a look at the United States... And we see that there are now 1,046 confirmed measles cases in the United States, reported by 31 jurisdictions. That did go up. And the number of cases obviously went up as well. And once again, the majority of the cases are unvaccinated or unknown status. All right, my website is datareport.info. Going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on it tomorrow. And I will be... Uh, you know, changing a few things around, cleaning up the page. I mean, look what happens when you scroll down. There are oh so many sections. I don't know. Do we need to condense some? I'm going to look into that tomorrow and see what we can do to clean that up a little bit. Taking a look at what's going on in Canada, and I need to refresh this. And now yet again, okay, there we go. Canada is pretty much low across the board for wastewater viral activity level. Low for COVID, low for flu A, flu B, and RSV at this time. Taking a look at BirdCast... Skipping over to UK, we'll look at some more things with the UK over the weekend where I think things should be slow. Probably Sunday's when we'll do that. Uh, taking a look at BirdCast here, we see birds in migration still in the millions. Just know that we are past peak, but now actually take a look at this. We get up to over 300 million birds today. Wow. So it went back up once again. And we can see uh, the majority of the country is seeing this at this time. Taking a look at what is going on with air qualities here in the United States. And we can see here, if this does come up, that there are some areas dealing with bad air qualities. Texas, uh, portions of Canada, portions of the southwest U.S., uh, Nebraska, maybe South Dakota, Florida as well, even Louisiana. Uh, the Northeast is not doing terrible at this time. Taking a look at what is going on. I uh, don't need to show this to you, so let's skip over this. No real concerns for uh, severe weather this weekend, just a couple. I always like to keep you safe from the storms as well. If you're in the plains, there could be some severe storms this weekend. Taking a look at what is going on with heat-related illnesses. I knew there was something weather-related. 
that we wanted to look at. And we can see here, they are now moderate in many places in the southwest, south Texas, and the southeast, and minor concerns surrounding that. In Pinellas County, Florida, we do see that there are a few calls right now. Sick person, a bunch of unknown problems, so calls to be had. In uh, Philadelphia, just 699 EMS incidents yesterday. Uh, that number is down. That is a good thing. Hopefully it stays down for the holiday weekend, and maybe it will. A lot of people go away for the weekend. Uh, although things are not down in Montgomery County right now. Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, just outside of Philadelphia, 19 EMS calls right now. And in Chester County, I do need to refresh this. Wow, Chester County is really busy right now. Sick person a couple times. Respiratory emergency at least three times. Stroke is showing up. Heart problems. Yikes. That is not good. Taking a look at what's going on with the hospital situation in Pennsylvania. Yes, there are some hospitals dealing with problems. Uh, we were checking out the Poconos yesterday because that's going to be a really busy place this weekend. There are a ton of people headed up that direction. Taking a look at what is going on now with New Jersey hospitals. I need to refresh this. And we do see Cooper University Hospital full and total divert for patient volume. And let's see, that's the only hospital. Okay, New York State today, 453 people tested positive for COVID. Uh, New York State hospitalizations, 354 people hospitalized at this time. And now to some new CDC data. And yeah, I have to show you this. Wastewater from the CDC, both in the south and in the west. Yeah, they're starting to rise once again. And they're halfway through that low point, meaning they continue to rise. Uh, in a few weeks, they could get back to moderate once again. The rest of the regions, I'll show you that, northeast is dropping, and the Midwest at this time is dropping, and then when we take a look at the national, it dropped just slightly. That's still holding on. May not hold on for much longer if the south and the west continue to rise for COVID. And take a look at this. Epidemic trends. We do see likely growing status now in Florida and Washington state, also in Louisiana and Georgia as well. And it's still declining in Pennsylvania, Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Nebraska, and Kansas, and likely declining in several states. Not changing or not estimated in several states as well, and also now not changing in Hawaii, which is different this week. They, I believe they were likely growing last week. And look at this for influenza. Yeah, North Carolina, growing status for some reason. Also likely growing up in Washington State at this time. All right. Emergency department visits diagnosed with COVID. We'll look over all the states over the weekend. Today, we're just going to look at the national level. And we can see here, it's not really dropping much now. It's starting to slow off, which signals that summer wave. It's getting really close in. Of course, we are seeing the signs of it in a few states. All right, I do need to refresh this. This is hospital capacity data. I don't know if this has updated yet. It's been saying May 70th. It still does. And on that update, it did update uh, up a little bit for the percentage of beds being used. It was at 72.9%. Taking a look now, uh, do we want to look at wastewater scan? All right, real quickly. The West Coast is low for COVID. The uh, South is low for COVID. The Midwest is low for COVID. But moderate for COVID, let me make sure it's correct. Yeah, moderate for COVID still, or medium, I should say, in the Northeast. And one of the reasons for that is take a look at Montpelier, Vermont. We're starting to see things go up there, and we do see a couple high wastewater sites in Maine. Now, normally Maine would be busy for Memorial Day weekend. I don't know if they're as busy this year because the weather's not nice up there. It's very cool. It's raw. There's rain. Uh, I saw a picture earlier today of Mount Washington having snow on it, snow and ice. It, it, it looked like something from the middle of winter, but here we are at Memorial Day weekend. Alrighty, folks, we will have another virus update again tomorrow. Sunday, and yes, Monday too. We'll have updates throughout the whole weekend. Uh, Wastewater Sunday will be a thing this week. I don't know what the news looks like for this weekend. I'm sure we'll find a bunch of stuff. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Of course, leave your comments down below. And if you're going to be off doing holiday weekend things this weekend, uh, please make sure you are testing beforehand. If you're having barbecues or whatnot, Please just stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see everyone again tomorrow. Until I see you again tomorrow, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic evening. Thanks for watching.